Hi guys, you're watching Raptor Customs and we have a brand new product for the Jaguar XK. We have created a big wing. Very exciting. This is a manual adjustable wing and we're about to show you how to install it on this lovely XKR. Okay, so first thing to bear in mind guys is if you have an existing spoiler on your XK, if it's a small ducktail spoiler like this one, that can stay as it is. The new spoiler is going to fit over that. If it's the extra large ducktail spoiler that sticks out another inch or two, then you're going to have to remove that and replace that with the smaller one as we did on this car. Okay guys, to do the installation, first thing I recommend is turn the spoiler upside down so the stainless threads are facing upwards. Uh, in the kit we've got some big flat stainless washers, one, one on each thread. You can put more or less on to adjust it if you want, but I recommend one over each thread. And then we're ready to slot over our bracket. Now there's not a left and right hand bracket, they are the same, so it doesn't matter which one goes where, but it does matter of course which way around they go, and they go in this orientation. Carefully slot it over, plunk, and then we're going to need a couple of our small stainless washers over the threads, and a couple of our stainless nylock nuts as well. So being a lock nut, they don't need to go mega tight. The nylon inside them should stop them from vibrating loose. Now we can get a spanner in there. I'm doing it up until I feel it come to a stop. And then just a couple of little nips nip nip that's all we need we're not cranking it right up we don't want to break the carbon and obviously we don't want it really loose either but the nylock nut means we don't need to go over tightening it okay and the same with the other bracket Okay guys, I'm getting myself a few bits of masking tape ready and you'll see why in a minute. Right guys, now we're ready to actually offer the spoiler up. As you can see, it has got some rubber pads stuck to the bottom, so it shouldn't scratch your paintwork by offering it up, but obviously do take care. You want to make sure you're getting it in the middle. I'm not going to teach you how to use a tape measure. You can do that all by yourself. <laughs> and once you're happy, it's in the middle and all four pads are touching nice and snug. Then use your masking tape and mask around the edges to where the brackets touch the paintwork. Okay. So pull the spoiler away guys and you should have, with your masking, something left over that looks like this.
So within the kit, we supplied these templates um, to help you drill the holes, basically. So there's two long ones, two short ones, and they're gonna sit right inside your masking. You obviously need to check that we are using the correct ones, okay, in the correct places. So again, I recommend turn your spoiler upside down. We'll uh, offer what we got. And that's the short one and that's the long one or is it the other way around? Yeah, that's the short one. Okay, I'm gonna try a short one first. Just unpeel it. Now, it does matter which way around they go as well. You can see that edge is longer than that edge, if that makes sense. Now, the short edge goes towards the uh, end of the bracket, like so. Now, this bracket is the one on the rear of the boot lid or tailgate, if you're in the US, rather than uh, the one that's on the top. And this edge is going to be pointing at the bottom. So I'm going to go transfer this now into our masking tape. Okay, transferring it on a central inside my masking tape lines as possible. Like so. And now the longer two, which are for this face. So that's the one that sits on top of your boot lid tailgate. Again, just check that they go the right way around. Yeah, so it's that way around, that edge being towards the front of the vehicle with that edge towards the rear of the vehicle. Transfer these ones on as well, nice and central. As you can see, there's a little bit of paintwork showing through, but I've left an even gap all the way around there, okay? Okay guys, now it's the nerve wracking part, time to drill the holes. So please do make sure that you are happy everything is in the correct place. Check twice, measure twice, drill once. Because once you've drilled a hole, you can't put the metal back in the car, okay? The templates are just there to help you and guide you, but you are responsible for making sure that you are happy they are in the correct place, all right? So here goes. Now, these are a M6 uh, thread that goes through the holes, which means they're six millimeters in diameter. Therefore, I'd recommend to drill these out six and a half to seven millimeters. Well, right, guys, there's the holes drilled. I'll remove our masking and template. I'll leave you something looking like that. Is a good idea if you want to put a bit of paint on the exposed metal there, stop corrosion. Uh, some of the holes were double skins, so that means you have to drill through one layer and then carry on and drill through the next layer of the metal, which is like the frame for the boot lid tailgate. Um, that hole was a double skin one, and that one, of course, same on the other side. These two holes were not, just one layer. Now we're removing the carpet trim from the underside of the tailgate boot lid. Right, now it's time to actually offer the spoiler on for the last time and bolt it on. It is gonna be easier with two people. Bring on the glorious assistant. 
Ok So This one of you sort of Support it in place While the other Tries your best to get some bolts in Okay, I've started with the bottom left bolt and I've got that screwing in by hand. Make sure all um, eight bolts are in, just finger tight before you go fully tightening any. If you fully tighten any of them before they've all been started, then you'll struggle to get the remainder started to screw in. Right, there's two in, meaning it's not going anywhere. I'll now continue get in the other six remaining bolts. Okay, there's the spoiler all bolted down. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it does actually have manual adjustment, so that's in its lowest setting. If you want a bit more sort of aero downforce, if you like, then you just slacken the four Allen key adjuster bolts now you don't need to actually fully undo them slackening them like so is absolutely fine and that will allow you an adjustment on the spoiler so that there with the back all the way up is in maximum downforce mode if you like and then you just nip the four allen key bolts up Obviously you can adjust this more or less depending on how you want it to look, but mainly how much downforce you want. Okay, so the more downforce on the back is great for grip on the rear, but you should also know that the more downforce on the back can make the nose raise. So be careful how you set it up, make sure it's right for you. Uh, and also the further up it is, the more drag it's going to create. So you could possibly use a bit more fuel, not that we care with our five litre supercharged cars, right? Um, but you know, if you're aiming for straight line speed, then you probably want this down rather than up. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want this product, it is available on our shop, www.raptorcustoms.com forward slash shop. Please stay tuned for lots more vehicle modifications and shit. <laughs> uh, please do click like and subscribe share the video to your friends and all that because it does help and is appreciated thanks very much